Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. If you happen to be a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. And if you're new, it is so good to have you. I really appreciate you being here. My name is Brooke. Uh, if you don't know me, if this is your first video you're ever seeing, I am 23 years old. I am pregnant with my first baby. She is a girl and um, I am 21 and almost 22 weeks pregnant. And I have a boyfriend and a dog and I live in Minnesota. So I do ASMR videos, I eat a plant-based vegan diet. But what I wanted to do today was a Q&A because I, I've been getting like a lot of random questions here and there like in my comment section, on Instagram, and so I was like, okay, why not just do a Q&A and address them all at once? So that is what I'm going to do today. My big puppy is, I don't know what she's doing right now. She's half under the bed and half freaking out. So if you hear her in the background, I'm sorry. So this question I've gotten uh, multiple times in several, several different wordings, but I thought that this wording was the most interesting. So will you make your baby girl be a vegan? And I thought that it was interesting how they said, will you make her? Uh, because as a parent, you, you do the best that you can. You do the best for your child that you know how. You give them the healthiest food, you give them vaccines or don't give them vaccines, uh, whatever you think is best for the child. You send them to, you know, a daycare, you get them a nanny, you stay home with them. You make those decisions as a parent that you think are the best for that child. And so, am I going to raise my daughter eating a plant-based diet? Yes. Uh, my boyfriend is not vegan, absolutely not. He eats lots of meat, lots of cheese, <laughs> lots of eggs, you know, that kind of thing. But uh, he he's okay with it because he knows that it is the healthiest diet that she could eat. And as she grows up, if she does decide that she wants meat, if she asks for it, if she asks to try some of her dad's food, uh, then we've both decided that we'll kind of like take that as it comes and let her try things. But I also want to let her know um, during that, you know, where I stand as well. I'll say that daddy eats meat because uh, that's how he was raised and that's what he likes. But mommy doesn't eat meat because she thinks that it's wrong to kill animals. And so I'm always gonna be very upfront with that and say that just because somebody eats meat, it doesn't make them a bad person, but it's just what mommy believes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh, yes, to answer your question, I will be making my baby girl be a vegan. Second question is, what is the best part of pregnancy so far? I think the best part of pregnancy so far has been my confidence. I have had so much more confidence being pregnant than I ever have in my life and I think it's because um, I was always so concerned about like oh my gosh my stomach's fat oh my arms are big you know whatever that kind of thing uh, but now hi <laughs> hi baby but now I'm like well I'm pregnant so if my stomach is you know fat or if I am a little bloated or whatever, who cares? Because I am growing life in there. I am making a baby. And it's been so empowering and so, yeah, it just, it's given me so much self-confidence because I'm like, I'm doing something that's so incredible and so amazing and it, my body's gonna change and it's going to get stretch marks, it's going to grow and I'm gonna gain weight, but that doesn't mean that I'm uglier or worse in any way. It just means that I am literally a badass and that's, that's kind of my favorite part of pregnancy. Do you like girls? Uh, no, <laughs> I don't. I think there have been periods in my life where I have, uh, like my first kiss was with a girl and stuff like that, but I, I just, I've, I've always kind of wondered like, does this make me gay? Does this make me blah, blah, blah? And I mean, always, you know, like when I was in middle school, I wondered that, but I, I don't like girls. The idea of kissing a girl, doing anything with a girl really grosses me out. So no, <laughs> could that change in the future? And could I have some like weird awakening where I'm like, wow, I do like girls maybe, but I don't think so. 
The next one is, what if someone fed your kid non-vegan food without your permission? Um, passport. Up it. Not right now, okay? It's not right now. Mommy's, mommy's working. I love you so much. You really want it? All right, but you're going downstairs. So the next question is, what if someone fed your kid non-vegan food without permission? Uh, that would be a huge freaking problem. It would be a huge problem, to say the least, because it wouldn't just be without my permission, it would be completely going against my rules, essentially. So uh, that would be the ultimate disrespect, and I would not, I would have to have a very open conversation and be like, listen, I'm the mom, you might not agree with it, you might think it's stupid, but if you go against me, you do not get to see my child unsupervised ever again. You know, it would be the same thing as if I were like, my kid is a diabetic and they gave them sugar. You know, it's the same thing, the exact same thing. Or like, my kid needs to wear a life jacket when they go swimming and they don't put a life jacket on them. It's the exact same thing in my eyes, going against my wishes and it's not okay. It's just not okay. Um, and the same goes, I'm saying my because I'm the only one here, but the same would go for like CJ's wishes as well, obviously. Um, if he said the baby has to sleep in the crib or something, for example, and they let the baby sleep on the couch or in the bed or wherever, absolute violation, not okay, not okay. Next one is, what is your go-to skincare routine? I use a lot of the Yes2 products. I think the original, like the name of the brand is the Yes2 Carrots, but I use the Yes2 Tomatoes. Uh, I use their cleanser, their charcoal mask, and their um, moisturizer. moisturizer. I usually only wash my face once a day and I do a mask, you know, whenever I feel like it. Not very regularly, like I wish I did it once a week, but I always just forget. So usually like once a month I'll do a mask and I will link all of those products in the description box below. What time do you normally go to sleep at night? I normally go to sleep uh, between one and two in the morning every night, usually two in the morning, sometimes a little bit later. How long have you been with your boyfriend? I have been with him for two years this November. November 3rd is actually our anniversary, but we've been talking for over a year, or over two years now at this point. Do you actually watch ASMR yourself or do you just make the videos for views? Uh, I actually watch ASMR. I've been watching ASMR a lot longer than I've been making those kinds of videos. And yeah, I've probably been watching it for at least, at least two years and I watch it every single day, not just to go to sleep at night, but like during the day as well. I'll watch like more role play type videos during the day because I think that they're more interesting, but uh, the other types of videos that I watch that aren't role plays that I don't want to like actively, um, follow, I will play as I fall asleep. What is your secret to a happy relationship? Uh, I don't I don't know if I'm necessarily the best person to ask this question to because although my relationship is super super happy right now and it has been for a while, I like we haven't always been super happy. There have been many times where we've been not happy at all. And I think my biggest secret, I guess, is know when it's time to let go of a relationship and know when it's time to hold on. Because there are so many times that you're going to go through with somebody where it's just bad. You know, it's not fun. You either, you know, don't have money or your families are going through something or uh, like, 
I don't know, you're just, you're not happy in your life situation for one reason or another. And you've got to kind of really look within your heart and recognize whether it's just a bad time or if your relationship itself is just bad because everybody's going to go through really rough times for one reason or another and we've experienced it all. Like health related bad times, money related bad times, uh, situational like living, just all the bad times that we could have had, we had right away during our relationship and it really put us through a lot. And once it was all kind of over, we were, still residually like affected long term from all of those hard times. So I was really, I had to like look within my heart and be like, is this just a bad relationship? Like, are we just not meant to be happy? Or is it just all this stuff that we went through and then how it affected us? And in my heart, my heart just kept telling me, it's, it's not, you're not supposed to leave. And I feel like if my heart had said, it's time to let go, it's time to move on, then that would be something that would be really difficult to do, but I would have had to do it because I would have known it was right. But in my heart, I was just like, it's not time. It's not, and it's gonna get better. And then what do you know? <laughs> Slowly but surely, we ended up getting out of that weird, rough place and into this beautiful, happy, place and of course we still will have like our disagreements and he'll still do things that I'm like you're insensitive and you know whatever and then he's like you're oversensitive and all of those things like we'll still have disagreements but we aren't battling each other all the time like we used to like mental just battles and struggles because I think that we're finally at a place of peace within our lives where of course new things are happening, stressful things, baby, but instead of just going at each other like we used to do, like, oh my God, this is so stressful, I hate you, you know? Instead of doing that, we're like, we're gonna be okay. And I don't know what happened, I just think that it was something that was meant to, it was meant to happen. We were meant to go through all of those hard times, I think, to prepare us for the rest of our lives. So, yeah. Was your pregnancy planned? I think that this is a really, I don't know, a lot of people think that this is a rude question and that you're not supposed to ask, but I really, I just don't care uh, because I just don't. I'm very open about these types of things, but in the future, probably don't ask that to people. Uh, but yeah, it was not planned. Um, as much as I like to joke, like, I trapped you, or sometimes I'll be like, oh my god, CJ, you trapped me. Like, I'll, like, we'll, we'll joke back and forth, and he'll be like, yep, I know, like, you did this on purpose, or whatever, but no, it, it wasn't planned. Um, yeah, but then again, neither was I, and I turned out great. <laughs> do we know her name? Yes, we do know her name, and we're not telling you yet, <laughs> but we will. We'll tell you before she's born. Do you ever crave meat or dairy now that you're pregnant? Uh, no, I don't. I do not. I crave, like, the plant-based versions of those things, so I'll crave, like, lasagna and stuff, like a big beefy cheesy lasagna, but I crave it in the vegan way that I would prepare it, you know what I mean? I'm not like, oh, I wish I had a rare steak right now, like, because after so long, almost three years, you just, you don't even really remember what it tastes like, so you can't crave it, you know what I'm saying? What are you going to be for Halloween? I actually already was. <laughs> I already did my Halloween thing. I was a troll, like a troll doll. I'll insert a picture over here. I was a troll doll and CJ was a caveman. And um, we went to this quick little get together at our friends' houses and we had so much, so much fun. Who is your favorite actor? I don't know, I really like Kiera Knightley and I think it's because I like all of the movies that she's in. I love that when you see a period piece uh, on like a preview or something and you're like, ooh, it takes place in the 1700s, Keira Knightley has to be in it. You know what I mean? I love that and I love those style of films. 
I think she's great. I love Johnny Depp. I think he's the most talented actor alive. I love Nicolas Cage, but not because I think he's the best actor. <laughs> okay, so then the last one that I will answer for now is going to be who are some of your favorite ASM artists? I would probably say that my favorites are Grace V, for sure, Mads ASMR. I love, they're both, they're actually twins. I really like KSMR, K-A-Y-S-M-R. I think she does great videos, but she's not very active anymore, so that makes me sad. China Unique, I loved her videos, but again, she posted once in the past like three weeks, I think. I love Whispers Red ASMR. I think she is lovely. I just, yes, I love, I love her videos. Okay guys, I think that is it for today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did and you want another Q&A, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. And I collected like random questions throughout the past couple of weeks, but then I collected the bulk of the questions on Instagram in that questions feature in my story. So if you're not following me on Instagram and you wanna be part of the next Q&A, please do follow me on there. Um, you can follow me on Snapchat too if you want, but I don't really post on there very often anymore. So Instagram is where it's at and I'm not on Twitter at all. So don't even bother going there. <laughs> But yeah, okay, so thank you so much for watching, and if you want to see more videos, then definitely click the link in the description. Um, there are tons of different videos in the description, actually. Um, my gender reveal, which is a really special one to me, that one's always in there. My last ASMR video that I did, and then of course I'll remember, I will not forget to link my um, face products that I use in the description box below. Highly recommend them. Anyway, I keep rambling on because I don't want to stop filming. I love it. I love making videos so much and it's not going to top stop anytime soon. So please keep up with my channel, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye.